Upon the NDP and Premier Horgan being thrust into power by the BC Green Party, the massive $36 billion Pacific Northwest LNG project, backed by a consortium of companies, was cancelled. The major backer was Petronas, the state-owned oil and gas company of Malaysia. The project, which received the support and approval of Justin Trudeau and Catherine McKenna, if you can believe it, would have easily been the single largest investment in British Columbia's history. And now we have exclusive government documents that show that these BC destroyers not only knew that, they were desperate to find people to validate their claim that it was industry conditions that led to the cancellation, not government or regulatory uncertainty. And how there were 25 First Nations that were already benefiting from agreements they had signed with Pacific Northwest LNG to the tune of $13 million. Shortly after the project was cancelled, we filed a Freedom of Information request for copies of all documents, including emails, text, or instant messages, media lines, etc., regarding the announcement by Petronas of the ending of the Pacific Northwest LNG project. And the first thing we see in this packet are briefing notes for Energy Minister Michelle Mungle. In the note, her ministry acknowledges this project would have been the single biggest investment in British Columbia's history and that Pacific Northwest LNG had already spent over $1 billion before the cancellation. Hilariously, the note also goes on to suggest in one of the conclusions that after the project has already been cancelled that, quote, the province should request Pacific Northwest LNG acknowledge that BC is a desirable location to invest and has the potential to be a global energy leader." Unquote. Look, I'm all for promoting BC, but come on, you can't be serious in asking a company that cancelled a project right after a government hostile to resources, oil and gas in particular, and that wants to raise carbon taxes and give First Nations a veto to suggest that this province is a great place to do business. Of course, Michelle Mungle and the NDP didn't want this cancellation blamed on them after taking power from the LNG-friendly BC Liberals. So on the day before the cancellation was made public, a senior bureaucrat within her ministry sent an email asking, quote, Also, could you offer best advice on a validator or two who will support that fact that economic challenges are hindering the LNG industry right now? Unquote. Look, I doubt they found anything serious to support that position. The challenges for the LNG industry have not changed that much in the last two to three years that the project has been under consideration. The only thing that did change was regulatory and tax uncertainty with this change in BC's government to the NDP. But the most disheartening thing we discover throughout this FOI packet is that there were numerous, 25 in fact, First Nations that were already receiving benefits from agreements they had signed with Pacific Northwest LNG. And they were gearing up for even more once the project began. This is something that is rarely mentioned in the media or by this NDP government, who seem to be far too busy embracing the demands of the vocal activists among First Nations in this province, and vowing to uphold the controversial UN Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Persons as the law of the land in BC rather than supporting projects like this that could directly benefit First Nations bands in the, remote, the most remote parts of the province. This is truly a shame. There is no place in British Columbia that could use the benefits of economic development from LNG than remote northern First Nations communities. For the Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. You know, you can subscribe to our Rebel Canada YouTube page and never miss a video on British Columbia's destroyers.